Otaku Nation episode 2. So we've got three animes to look at uh, this week. Um, first one is Golden Time. New student, ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> He's joined elite private law school and he gets lost at the opening ceremony. He finds freshmen at shop, follows them, copies what they're doing just to find where the hell he's going but this actual anime doesn't follow his viewpoint it follows another freshman's viewpoint because as soon as you find them leaving the um, shop he gets attacked by a woman she beats him with a bouquet of flowers saying congratulations yeah (laughs) and you're like and this other boy is just sitting there going what the hell just happened and so you're following his viewpoint and basically the gist is what was it legally blonde (laughs) <laughs> that is the whole show. So the girl enrolls into the elite private school to get close to her boyfriend. She's been, uh, been betrothed to him, and she actually does really want to marry him, but he's a bit like, get away. Don't know why. She's, she's a bit creepy. Creepy, yeah, but very, hot. <laughs> very hot. Yeah, but she's a stalker. That's why. He doesn't want to be with her, and she's like, she's decided from like day one of their meeting when they were kids, we're going to get married. And that's weird. I, don't like I, I like the idea of uh, the other guy who's running away from her, and he's like, I just want to get away from you. And she said, oh, don't be silly. You act crazy all the time. You know you want to be with me. And so I'm just sorry. saying, get away. <laughs> the similarities to get Fruits away. Basket. Yeah. <laughs> Lukio and Kagura. Yes. Um, so that's pretty much how it's going to roll, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. It's, it's cringe. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure Oren has something to say. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> I don't want to watch it anymore. I just slice of life, comedy, dating, romance, I don't care. I don't care. I didn't mind it. I quite liked it. Um, I want to know about the interesting character, uh, the other character, like the pink haired girl. Yeah, yeah. She's quite interesting. And um, Linda, she was nice. I liked her. Like she, the fact that she had all the plasters and everything ready. For the freshmen that they get attacked, that was funny. The uh, the exotic dancers just started dancing around the the, the guy. <laughs> the Brazilian dancers. The Brazilian dancers. Law school funny. sounds fun, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so the next anime we looked at was Coppelian? Yes. Um, it's based in the future, not too far away actually, three years from now. <laughs> oh, oh wow, future was like that. <laughs> it's, it's, like space, it's like Space 1999, that never read. But um, yeah, it's basically about three girls who are immune um, to high radiation, which has virtually destroyed all of Tokyo. And their task is to go and help and find people um, from an organisation they work with. And um, that's pretty much it. They just go around Tokyo, living in derelict houses, surviving day by day. Um, not wearing any armor, not wearing or any, any masks. They're just wearing school uniforms. It protects them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Yeah, so laughs> except for Laura's expression. It's like, uh, yeah. Um, Only thing I have to add to that is the animation is amazing. Yeah. The color effects on it, um, I don't know. I. I actually didn't really care too much about the story. I was just watching how pretty it all looked. Um, it almost looked like they put like camera filters on top of it because it was going brown and colourful. And then when one of the girls puts her hands in the water, it goes 3D. Yeah. But in a nice 3D, not the cheap, skanky 3D. We've seen a lot, <laughs> a lot and a lot and a lot. That submarine show, for example. We won't talk about that ever again. You mean the greatest anime of all time. Oh. oh. I must tell you, now speaking of that quickly, I saw a top 10 list. They put that as number 10 of what? animes to watch this year. <laughs> I know, just going off subject. <laughs> um, but I, I didn't mind Capelli. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to carry on watching it because I just want to see. I like those kind of shows. That kind of. I love how it pans out. Yeah, I like, it reminded me of The Last of Us. The kind of apocalyptic world. What do you find? You have to survive. And so it seemed pretty cool about it. <laughs> and I want to see why it was destroyed because they didn't really. But they said there was like someone opened up Pandora's box yeah. in the first episode. And like so basically something, something happened that it just yeah. like, some dude obviously effed up <laughs> and then nuclear explosion mm. and then death. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested. Yeah, I'm interested how they engineered these girls. 
because it was 2016. It's like three years in the future. How have you made these like goals? You did Dolly the Sheep it? and with the nineties. Yeah, <laughs> oh, cloning, cloning, yeah. Yeah, but it's gonna take like X amount of years for you to grow these goals, unless they were like I don't. You can't grow people that fast. Mm, no, it's weird. So I don't know if they've just been like not genetically engineered, but if it's just like ah, oh, we've given you an injection or something like that. I don't well, know. Well, one of the girls gave herself an injection, wasn't it, for vitamins yeah, yeah. or something? Well, the others ate. Like the, um, rice balls and whatnot. So they're not, they are human, so they can yeah. eat. But um, They keep on referring to them as dolls or puppets? Yeah, and the credits kind of reflected that as well. We'll probably find out a bit more about yeah. that later on. But I liked it, I really did. It was interesting. <laughs> And another interesting anime, <laughs> Puzzles. Uh, Oren, talk about that anime. Uh, it's Phil Brain Coming No Puzzle, uh, season three of it. Uh, it's basically about solving puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. It's, it's, it's what it says on the can. Oh, what is it? Main character's like called Kaito, and he's like some master puzzle solver. Uh, if you don't watch any of like the previous series beforehand, you're just like suddenly thrown in. He's like solving some Indiana Jones shit. <laughs> and what was the first puzzle? It was putting like putting balls. beads in. Oh the yeah, putting the kind of balls. It's like five thousand four hundred possible things it could be, and I figured it out in like five seconds. And basically, he's trying to figure out, like, trying to trigger off his best, like, his friend's uh, lost memories. For some reason, like, you're just thrown into that. Like, no recap, not anything. It's just like, oh, I don't remember anything. Obviously, we'll have to do all this Indiana Jones shit so you can remember your memories. It's really epic. Oh, it's ridiculous. And then it goes a bit slapstick at points. Yeah, and then it cuts away to these other kids who are at a school for puzzle solving or something. Big. It's big. There's an angry redhead delinquent guy. Yay! He's my favourite. Yeah, he's quite funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's funny. And, um, yeah, no, it's, it's weird very weird I have no idea what was going on uh, there was one point <clears> where <throat> those kids at the school were being attacked by the president he was his surname's Enigma oh do you know who the guy the, the, the guy who runs their club he yeah. reminds me of Tony Stark oh, oh really yeah. <laughs> so it was like the beard like, Ooh. yeah they're trying to <laughs> strap bombs Hello. to a kid and like you have to solve this puzzle the yeah. boy's gonna die and then <laughs> the liquid the was like person, <gasps> and, and, the, and the other person's solves. choke holding him while yeah. he's trying to solve the puzzle sounds like swordfish <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was just very strange and then some pink haired girl turned up and she right was all like yeah right so she was like oh hey go memory loss hi we know each other and he's like right and they're like how do you know her name? <laughs> and, it's and then she, for some reason, she just drags him, and he doesn't resist or anything. No, he doesn't. Runs off, and uh, friends are trying to chase, like, to catch up, and then they end up in this room with like twelve doors and a big giant eagle statue and a new puzzle. Yeah, it's a new puzzle. You have to pick the right door, and there's no clues. And also, there's blocks just falling on them. Yeah, like a Tetris. The pink girls just keep on <laughs> clicking her fingers, and then rocks fall from the sky, trying to kill the friends. Memory loss guys at the top. It's like, oh, I've been hanging out with you guys for ages. I don't remember who you are, but I'm just gonna watch you get killed. I don't, I don't care. And then the twist at the end saying he hated puzzles. Yeah, he hated him. puzzles. Ah. All of, do we even need puzzles? And then like the president guy who was like, oh yeah, like puzzle people, they're gonna destroy the world somehow. I don't understand why puzzle is so important. Uh, stupid. <laughs> Nothing was explained. I don't know what's going on. I don't... <sighs> puzzles. You'd think puzzles would lead to a really light-hearted anime. Yeah, I no, thought this, was, this took itself way too seriously. It did, yeah. It's like, it... at the same point, it's like freaking Yu-Gi-Oh! Like the, <laughs> the manga. Do you know what? I was thinking that! <laughs> but without the Shadow Realm. Yeah. It's just Kaiba's story. Yes, um, it's Kaiba. Kaiba yeah. makes, a big, <laughs> makes all these puzzles. It is that like, kind of <laughs> yes. thing that, oh, it puzzles will save the world. Card games will save the world. It's uh, just I don't know. <laughs> The hair's not as good, though. No, the there's hair no fucking hair. Which I'm, is I'm happy. Shame. Really? There isn't a giant, enormous hair that big <laughs> for once. <laughs>
Now with the news, talking about the new consoles this year, PS4 and Xbox One, we're going to talk about our impressions and what console we probably pick, if we pick any. Um, PS4 guys? Yes. I want to get PS4. <laughs> We're pretty much Sony, Sony <laughs> girls. Not not saying that Xbox don't get it. We're not saying that. If you want yeah. to get it, get no, it. But I used to get. I had like three sixty and a PlayStation three. Yeah. And I mostly played my uh, my Xbox. I I used my PlayStation three for uh, basically Blu-ray. Uh, no, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And played PlayStation two games. Yeah. Because I have the original. But um, yeah, no, I want a PS four. I have to say, I went to the PS4 Playroom in Covent Garden. I tried out a few games. I'm not one for COD or Killzone, but I did try Killzone. <clears throat> the backgrounds were amazing. Me and my friend just commit suicide so we could just see the backdrops. <laughs> it was that detailed. Like, it, it, when you're using a rifle, you have a scope, you could see the background mirroring onto the scope. Yeah. They put so oh, much dear. effort into it. And um, there was another game called Knack. It's more of a kids game I'm mm. sure um, again the graphics is amazing I put it on easy just so I could just try the game and enjoy it because mm, you yeah. know hard walk one step die um, <laughs> again it just seemed all <laughs> loads of fun and Lego Lego never disappoints us Lego uh, yeah. Marvel Avengers what was that on the PS4 well, yeah Sweet. it's on yeah it's on Both? All, yeah it's on all the consoles oh. I don't know if it's on PC or not <laughs> but that's the one I tried on PS4. That was pretty good as well. But the one game that I'm looking forward to, that one happens to be on Xbox One. That's Kill Kill Instinct. Yeah. Um, yeah, you have to buy all the characters though. So I think PS4 is winning again still with me. But then yeah. again, no games are out for either consoles. I'm gonna wait until later on. Yes, but so launch wait. titles have never been great. That great? No, I mean PlayStation. I don't think I've had a great track record of. Um, Launch games to begin with. I think um, maybe for the PS One, there was. I think Wipeout was the very Bug. first one. Bug. <laughs> Bug. Bug. That one. Okay. <laughs> I think that was like one of the first titles that came out because I bought the Sega Saturn, which had Clockwork Knight, and everyone else was going, "Why aren't you buying PlayStation?" I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Actually, the Saturn was the one that came out with the best uh, opening games, actually." There you go. Which is a shame. Um, yeah, PS4. I haven't tried either console yet because I haven't had the chance to. Because game uh, Eurogamer was just a nightmare for queuing. For queuing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so I've only just seen stuff for it, so I can't say I've played it. But out of the two, I definitely would go for PlayStation 4. Unanimous. Yeah. And on other news, uh, Nintendo Direct has been launched. Yes. And you know more about that, Harriet? Yeah, I watched uh, most of it yesterday. Uh, it's a weird mix. It might work, but Legend of Zelda and Dynasty Warriors, it's, uh, you know, it basically... Oh, what can I say? What we saw was Zelda in the field, like attacking... Yeah. Loads of people. And, uh, well, no, loads of enemies. And that's all really I can say. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't really released anything. It's just called Zelda Warriors, but that's not the final name. Okay. Um, they also... Are Professor Layton versus yes. Phoenix Wright. Oh, yeah. Yes! This game exists! <laughs> that's going to come out 27th of March. Oh, 2014. Yay. And that won't be here. I will be in Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> Attending fun cons. I'll be at Kitacon, yeah, and okay. EGX is on that weekend as Game well. Con. So <laughs> there's a bit of a good split there. Um, what else? Oh, there was something else. Oh yeah, Rosalina, and ah, and her and star friend is the nineteenth character now in Smash Brothers. Oh, sweet. that's that's going to be out on 3DS and Wii next Wii U next year. Okay. I've seen a lot of fanboys squeeing over this. <laughs> she does look cute. Be fair. It, she is, uh, she's one of my favourite characters. I, I love playing uh, Mario Galaxy, so it's one of my favourites. Uh, what else? Kirby, they've announced a new game. In Lost World Sonic, they've announced a new DLC. One of them is Yoshi's Island. Oh. And it's actually the Yoshi's Island setting. So you have, you could ca collect all the eggs like you do in Yoshi's Island, which is really cute. I think that's it mainly. Um, yeah, pretty much. It was a good run before Christmas. And I think also uh, because it was the year of Luigi. Oh, Dr. Luigi, that's another one. They're bringing out Dr. Luigi because it's the year of Luigi. 
They also bring out a diorama on Club Nintendo, which is worth seven thousand points if oh. you have it. I don't. I've only got four thousand. So sure, if you I'm worked f- at Nintendo, maybe. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't... Well, to be fair, I spent my points kind of getting... Um, you know the statues from Mario Kart? So I got the Thunder Trophy. So I love that. So that, I'm happy with that. But the diorama's from Luigi's Mansion 2. So you have him kind of scared. You have a ghost on the, his right side and a the ghost dog on his left. And he's got the hoover. Aww. So it's really, really cute. I don't know what size it is. So you could get it. It'd probably be only about that size. But if it's that size, I'd be happy with it. But... I think the nearest I'm going to get to it is try and look for it on eBay. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's pretty much all the news from Nintendo Direct. And it was really good. Good way to start the Christmas off. <laughs> and if you're doing nothing through Christmas, you get to see Muggins here on the new Geeks show on E4 next week, Monday. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> So, um, you can't talk about it now. Yeah, I can't talk about it much now. All I can tell you is it's 11 pm when you're drunk, <laughs> high on food. <laughs> what day? It's Mon- on Monday. Monday. Is it on at 11? 11 o'clock now. I just moved it. Yeah, not because it's explicit. Is it Cause because it's- of Christmas programming? Blah. You're going to be watching <laughs> a snowman beforehand or whatever. And then see geeks being. Yeah. <laughs> but we will talk more about it in the next show yeah <laughs> yeah a lot of um cosplay and warcraft to look forward to so we'll see you in the new year hopefully this is bye from us have a nice christmas Bye-bye.